guys good morning your girl here um sunday morning and today we are going to be talking about getting things done and the reason we're going to be talking about that is because i woke up this morning and kind of had that feeling of dread like there was a lot i needed to get done i've recently decided to take over an art studio and um, have a place where I can work on the furniture that I do. I'll show you guys that. It's distressing, shabby chicing, painting, and I'm getting in touch with artists in the area to put their art on the walls so that I can afford the rent. And it's a pretty big undertaking for someone who lives an alternative lifestyle to tackle. So I woke up with, what did I do? Is this the right decision? Um, my landlord at the yurt needs to talk to me. I've got to go up there and get my laundry so I can get my laundry done. I'm house sitting for friends here at the Funny Farm is what they call it. I'm in the Ohm Temple. And you can see this is where they lead meditations. And it's this really incredible tent they built outside their house. And it's all open windows. The curtains are drawn now because it's a foggy morning. But that's what the view looks like. Um, it's really incredible, but so I've got to water the gardens here, get in touch with the artist, finish the work I'm doing at the studio, how am I going to make the rent, I've got to go to the bank, I want to get to the gym, I've got to meet a new friend for coffee, which is exciting, but on and on and on, and I was in the middle of this to-do list when a friend texted me, and she was sitting at a bus stop, and it was about this homeless man crossing the street, and about... Um, his suffering and how she didn't know how to relate to his suffering only her own and it was this very melancholy text to receive it 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning and right at that moment an instrumental of very superstitious came on by Stevie Wonder and it was the instrumental version but the lyrics um, at least the chorus of that is when you believe in superstitions, you don't understand, then you suffer. So we have this to-do list, we have this strange text, we have these lyrics in my head, and it just sort of all culminated into an aha moment where energy and belief and the things we go about doing every day they matter but only so much in so far as we can enjoy them if we're doing them and it reminded me of this symbol of infinity where we let go of a conception of energy in a linear sense and we start to look at it as moving back and forth around infinitely. So infinity is never, you know, plus one. It just moves back around. And the the linear conception is, and this feeds back into my to-do list, getting things done. It's not getting them done that matters. It's how I go about doing them. And the belief, the superstitious belief that I'm going to feel better just having gotten them done is a misconception and one that I have spent 27 years trying to dissemble. So today, I want us all to focus on the process, enjoying the process of getting things done, whatever it is or whatever you're doing, because there is no sense in doing it if we're rushing on to the next thing, if we're always in that state of what's behind us, what we need to do, what's in front of us, what we feel we need to get accomplished or done. And this is a principle that is very hard to practice in a world where getting things done is prioritized at such an um, expedited rate texting and everything, the, the faster the better, you know, the faster the better. And when we sit back and take this time, listen, learning how to listen. I didn't just rush off and go do these things. I sat there and I said, okay, these three things just 
came together, my to-do list and this text and then this song. And so I sat and reflected and now I feel like I know what I need to do today. And, and knowing that anything I do is going to be as good as it could be and that I did as much as I could because I did it the best I could, not because I got the most I could done. So that's my message for the morning. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday. And I can't wait to bring you into the studio and show you what I've got going on there. Your girl is getting a little cray-cray and trying to get some things done. I also have met some interesting people that I would like you to meet who are artists in the area. So, ciao. Thanks for listening. Carpe diem. Bye.